If you ever start thinking to yourself about trying something new, do you find yourself saying, no, I'm too old for that. I'm too stuck in my ways. I'm never going to change at this stage of my life. Well, if you are, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. You don't have, as life goes on, to start thinking about sitting in God's waiting room because there is still time for you to do stuff. In fact, if you're between 25 and 85, you have every single right to go after what you want to do in life. Now, it doesn't have to be massive. It could be something small. But there's something that holds you back. And I think it's time that we start to look at things in a different way. There is a however to that, though. You can wait too long. So what am I saying? Well, don't hold back. Don't make excuses. Don't sit waiting. Nothing is going to come to you in this life. You do have to put yourself out and make a step for it. It may be that you've got things you still want to do. It may be that you have places that you want to go that you've never traveled to yet. It may be that there are still things you want to do in your life and you may need to learn new things in order to do them. But the thing is this, if you think to yourself, nah, I'm too old now, then I'm sorry, nothing's going to change. There was someone who once said that if you want to change some things in your life, you have to change some things in your life. And that made perfect sense to me. Except I used to make excuses. And I was thinking about that this morning. And this is why I'm actually doing this video, if you like. So let me break that down for you into five different things. First of all, it's not too late. You still have whatever time is in front of you. If you're where you are now and you're thinking to yourself, I'm too old. Well, that's okay, but think about that in the past. You're not too old. You've still got things that you can do. It doesn't matter how old you are. If you still have a zest for something more in your life, then now is the time to start thinking about doing it. Because if you don't do it now, when are you gonna do it? After all, this is your life, you may, find that you're in a position where you feel this is as far as you go and that life is a grind and you're doing the same old thing day in, day out. Well, that's telling you that you want more and you wouldn't be thinking about it in here if you didn't want more for your life. It's not too late. You just got to start thinking about how you're going to do it and what it is you want to do. The second thing, of course, is if you know that there's something that eats away at you and you wish you'd tried or you still want to do, there's no use sitting around and waiting for the right moment because the right moment isn't gonna happen. We all think we've got time. We could do this later. But I suppose what I'm saying to you is, if you're in a position where you want something more, just suppose that you live alone and you don't get out much. Well, if you feel that you want to get out, what's to stop you? It may be that you're still working and you do a 40 hour week and you don't have a lot of time, but there is nothing to stop you planning and getting yourself into a position that you can say, do you know what? I'm going to join a club. Find something you like to do. It may be photography. It may be knitting. Oh, it could be anything. But join a club if you're lonely and you want to get out and meet people. It will broaden your horizons no end. Because even when you meet new people and you're going for, say you're in a bike riding group, you go and join a bike riding group because you want to keep fit. You want to do this and you want to try out 
meeting new people. And it could be that the people that you meet in the bike riding group may do other things and it will stretch your boundaries and allow you to make more friends. It may be that you'd like to travel and you haven't done it yet. Well, make some plans. Get online, look at places that you've always wanted to go. Check them out, see how much money it's gonna cost you and work out a budget to get you on a plan to get on that route. Buy things to put around your room to keep it fresh in your mind because you can still do those things. The third thing is that you have to move beyond making excuses. Now I've always found for me <laughs> that I make excuses when I have an amount of fear about something. And I'm not talking about scaredy scaredy fear. I'm talking about my confidence not being high enough that I don't think that I'm good enough to do it. It could be that you think to yourself that you don't have the qualifications or it may be that it's so long since you did your qualifications that you'll think they're not relevant in today's workplace. Well, I think that's kidding yourself. There is a place for someone with your knowledge, with your experience out there. And if you're younger and you don't feel that you have the education that you need, don't let that stop you. Perhaps it's the lack of money you feel stops you from moving on and making an excuse. Well, not everything takes money to get started. It could be that the goal that you want to do or the place that you want to go is there, it's attainable. You just don't have the money right now. I've always found that when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And what I mean by that is that when you set yourself a goal to do something and you get that mindset correct, then ways of achieving things come to you. And you, you, you start to see a, a bigger vision, if you like. And that's what I mean about not worrying about money. If there's something that you want to do, money does not necessarily have to be the thing that holds you back. Fourth, learn to take a healthy risk. Because if you're going to try anything new in life, you are taking a risk. Every time you're extending yourself out of your comfort zone, you're taking a risk. And the only people who don't take risks are people who don't want anything more in life. I'm not saying big business. It may be you want a friend, but you're scared to say hello. I'm not great with new people. I've, we've talked about this before, where I have a brother-in-law who will talk to someone for two minutes and you would think they'd been friends for 20 years. I cannot do that. But it's a risk you have to take. When I thought about doing this YouTube channel, I thought to myself, I want to leave a legacy for my two boys. And that's what I started doing. That's what this channel was all about. And then other people started to watch the channel. And I became fearful that I was going to say something that someone wasn't going to like, and then they would attack me. And to be fair, I've had trolls attack me on this channel. I had someone say the best thing you can do to improve this channel is to close it down. <laughs> I look back and I laugh at that now. But it is a risk. It was a risk starting this. And it's one of the things that I'm most gratified about doing because I've got to speak to people all over the world doing this. And I'd like to think I've made some new friends along the way. And I'd also like to think that the advice and the encouragement that I give out to my boys has spread to other people as well. And that's what this video is. It's about an encouragement because you're not too old and it's not too late. Now, before I tell you the fifth thing, can I just ask you a favor? If you've got to this stage of the video, I would love it if you could hit that like button. If you've subscribed already, thank you very much. And if you've been watching a few videos and you're getting to this stage in the video, I would love it if you would subscribe 
because to be fair, I just like talking to you. The fifth and final thing is to be willing to change. Whatever it is that you want to do in life, whether it's take up running, do as I did many years ago, go and take an IT course so that I knew how to use the computer properly. It could be that you want to join a chess club because you like the game chess and you have no one to play. But all of these things will take you stepping out of your comfort zone. You have to be willing to make that change. You have to be willing to do the things that you want in this life. It doesn't matter how old you are. I am convinced that it's never too late. You're not too old. If you're 40 and you're thinking about making a change in your career, well, I suggest you start looking around. Find something you want to do and have a go at it. You've still got the job that you're in now. It may be that you've been made unemployed and that can affect a lot of people's self-esteem. But you know what? It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to say, you know what? <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. I think I'm going to try something new. And it may be that you have a family around you, but sometimes you just got to take that risk. Sometimes you've got to step out of your comfort zone and go for the things that you want. I love doing this. I love this YouTube channel. When I started it, I was so unsure of myself. When I do a video each day, I'm always nervous because I hope I get it right because I want to come across well and give some information to you that's going to help you along the way. And so I never want to make the mistake. So it puts me on edge. But you know what? All I need is one comment that says, thank you, you've helped me today. And I feel like a million dollars. I'm so pleased. It's such a humbling experience when someone leaves a comment for you on the here that tells them that you have made a difference in their life. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I've said this many a time. If you're thinking that you want to try something else, you should give this a go. Give YouTube a go because... You've got something to say as much as I have. You've probably got some experience in lots of things that I don't have. And people want to hear your story. So I'd love to hear that as well. That'd be something else you could do, you know. Because you're never too old and it's never too late. Leave your comments down below if you've got anything you'd like to add to this little conversation. And maybe we can carry it on again another time. But till the next video... I'll see ya.